What are you doing? I cannot express. I will have to pay. To answer your first question, yes, I did get that sheet for $1 from Goodwill. Also, what up, new microphone? It just showed up at my house one day, as if delivered by fairies, unsolicited. The next time someone asks me to return a favor that I have no knowledge of, I will have to assume that this microphone was that favor. Do you guys want to try an experiment together? I'm going to do a little bit of ASMR. Listening back to that, it made me feel more anxious than before. Oh, do you want me to talk about what I'm doing? Alright, so first we're gonna get started with a little Prussian blue. Okay, so I got up to get a little bit of water to thin out some paint. And look at this. Look at that! Who is the culprit? Who in the- <gasps> I can't believe that George tried to Prussian blue in my painting. No, wait, come back! Alright, are you guys ready for something real spoopy? I caught this on camera. There's a shadow. There it is! I don't know what that was. You guys, I was home alone. Let me slow that down and show you again. Boom. Shadow moving past. No idea what that was. Like I said, Jeff wasn't home. Nobody was home. I really hope that this doesn't turn into like, oh, and then I was randomly murdered and here are all the clues that led up to it. Uh, if you guys have any idea of what that could have been besides a murderer or a ghost, please let me know. Please assuage my fears. Man, I just wanted to make like a really chill painting video and now I'm all freaked out. Because maybe there's a murderer stalking me or something like that. I'm going to have to calm myself down with some more ASMR. Speaking of ASMR, here is what a paint knife sounds like on camera. Just think happy thoughts. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The smell of hot talkies. Thinking of a really good comeback to that argument that you had five years ago. Okay, are you chill? I'm chill. Let's get to the painting to make this a chill painting video. Uh, I found a bubble on the canvas and I turns out that when you add paint to that bubble, it just the bubble doesn't pop, and you can just slide it around. Isn't that wild? I really like the rise of the number of people that are doing like abstract painting and different painting techniques, but I don't really think of it as abstract painting for the most part. I think of it as unskilled painting. There are people who are really, really, really good at it, but then there are the rest of us. Okay, so quick story time. When I was in high school, I was accidentally enrolled into an art class for two weeks before I dropped it and picked up jazz band. And it was the most stressful time of my life because art is so unstructured to me and it just doesn't like jive with how I learn. And at the time, um, I showed up to class and the teacher was really nice, but she's just like, all right, uh, our first project is going to be 
Um, what did she say? Oh, drawing a perspective uh, image. And she was like, this is what perspective is, and this is how you utilize it. And at the time, I had literally only drawn, like, the most complex thing I'd ever drawn was, like, the window that they teach you to draw on Blue's Clues. <laughs> and so, uh, I drew, like, the absolute worst drawing. It doesn't exist anymore. That's in the garbage now. And then I just, I dropped it, and I enrolled in jazz band where there's a sheet of music and it tells you exactly how creative you're allowed to be. Um, but yeah, it took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that I suck at art and, it, and get to the point where I could do something that was unstructured, that it didn't matter how it turned out, uh, that it was more about the process than the result. But yeah, art used to really stress me out, which is weird because it relaxes most people. basically just really slow spin art. I like how therapeutic art can be and the fact that you can just kind of sit down and be quiet and make something and sort of like self-therapize. Oh, uh, what? My editor has just informed me that this is known as a coping mechanism. So yeah, what's your coping mechanism? Let me know down in the comments. Have you ever done something and then immediately regretted it? Like add paint to a canvas where it didn't need paint instantly ruining it or filming yourself from an unflattering angle that highlights your double chin <laughs> yeah me me neither i just i just wanted to know if, if you guys ever had asking for a friend if i did add too much paint to the canvas where do i get one of those neck exercise machines This one wound up reminding me of like ballistics footage of bullets being shot into water, um, kind of like the opening scene from Saving Private Ryan. I didn't really have an idea of how this would turn out, but I, and I enjoy it. It might go up on my wall. Do you feel better now? I am empty of pain. And this emptiness is another sort of sorrow. Alright, I did arts and crafts time and you watched. Uh okay, bye. One more thing, I now have over 10 subscribers and I'm still waiting on that play button so I figured I'd better just make my own. Uh, so. Thanks guys, uh, number go up, make me feel real good.